Good morning, Ellsworth class. Um, I'm filming this uh, on Tuesday, so yesterday for you guys. Uh, Mrs. Porter's with you today. While I'm not at home, I'm going to be planning bits and pieces for you uh, while I'm at home. Um, so you've got some computing time this morning to do, and you've got some forest school this afternoon to do. But before you do those things, I have a special challenge that I want you to complete. And this is actually a challenge which everybody in the whole school is going to be taking part in. It's a writing challenge. And the teachers are going to be looking at your work. So all the teachers in the school are going to be looking at your work today from your writing challenge. Um, so I'm going to explain the challenges in, in it, what it is in a minute for you guys. But what's going to happen is you are going to get a, a special challenge for your writing. Um, you're going to do your absolute best with your writing. Um, and then once your writing is completed, it will be passed on to me and it's going to be shared with all the teachers of the school. So Mrs. Hunt, Mr. Pring, year six teachers, year five teachers, year three teachers, all the teachers are going to look at each other's work. Okay, so we're going to look at your work later on. So let me talk to you about the challenge first, so you guys got an idea of what you need to do. So I'm just going to quickly share my PowerPoint with you all. Okay. So this is your challenge. So here you've got a picture. Uh, and uh, I've sent this to Mrs. Porter, so you can look at this in a bit more detail. I have a look at the, what you can see in the, in the picture. Next to it, there's a brief description. It says the sky ladder. It wasn't there when he had left the previous evening, but when Tim arrived that morning, there it was. Where did it come from? Where did it lead? There was only one way to find out, slowly, step by step. Tim made his way up the ladder until... So you are going to use this picture for inspiration today for your writing. And you're going to continue the story of Tim. So think carefully to yourself about what could happen in your little story. Where the ladder takes it is completely up to you. There's no right or wrong answer. So you can be as creative and as imaginative as you want. You can turn it to any type of story you want. Maybe you want to continue your fantasy story. Maybe the ladder takes you to a new world. You can turn it into a horror story if you wanted to. Maybe there is a uh, a horrifying creature that lives above the clouds. Maybe it's going to take them to a new race of peoples, millions. Who knows? It's completely up to you what you decide to do. Okay. So um, there's no right or wrong answer for this one. You can write whatever you want to write about. But my one goal is this it has to be your best writing. I'm really, really looking for children to uh, really think about what they want to say in their stories. So think about uh, your spellings, think about your handwriting in particular, because it's always the first thing. Someone who looks at your writing, the first thing they'll look at is your presentation. Is your handwriting neat? Have you taken your time with your handwriting? So please take your time. Um, spellings are really important as well. So you need to make sure you're taking your time to spell the words carefully, not rushing and guessing. Uh, take your time. Now, this is going to be an independent activity. So this has to be something you do by yourself. So Mrs. Porter and myself can't help you with your writing. It's up to you to show us what you can do. Think about all the skills we've learned so far in story writing for English. Use those skills to help you, help you to remind you what you need to include. OK, Mrs. Porter and me can't help you with your spellings either. So you guys are going to have to try to spell yourself. And remember, there's other tools that you're allowed to use for your spelling. One of the things you could use to help with your spelling is using the resources you've got in class. So in particular, you've got a school dictionary that you could use to help you with your spellings. If you're thinking of another word that means the same thing, you might want to use one of our class thesaurus to help you with it. You can use these as well. In your tray, you've got some spelling cards that you can help you with as well. Uh, but apart from that, it has to be your own ideas, what you come up with yourself. Now, we're going to do this slightly differently than normally. You're not going to do this in your books. You're going to have to do it on a piece of paper. So I'm going to share, you, share with you all what the piece of paper looks like now. 
So here is a copy of the piece of paper to use. So it's just a lined piece of paper like this. Um, and at the bottom, it has your name already printed at the bottom. So this one, you can see this is Lydia's. And obviously our class name is here. And it says writing task term four. And it says page one. Everybody has two pages. So Lydia's got page one and she's got page two. Um, this is Jessica Briley. So she's got one and it's two. Okay. So you've all got two sheets to work from. Okay. Now it's really important that you do not write your name on this sheet. The sheets have already got your name on it already. So you don't need to write on your sheet at all with your name. Okay, so just leave it blank. The names are printed at the bottom for you. Okay. Other thing is you see down the bottom it says don't write below here. So where this line is here, it's really important that you don't write anything below here. Even if you run out of room, and you've got a word that you want to squeeze in. Even if you come to the end of a sentence and you want to add another word in, if you need to, then you would write it on the top of your next page like that. Okay, so do not write anywhere below here whatsoever. Okay, so those are the two things you've got to really think about. You've got two bits of paper to do your writing, which is plenty. Okay, um, and I'm going to give you 40 minutes to do your writing. Okay, so you've got plenty of time for you to write. I'm just going to stop sharing my screen now so you can see me. Okay, so. What you need to do is make sure you're taking your time and do your best. Um, if you finish in 10 minutes, it means you haven't tried your hardest. So no one should go to Mrs. Porter and say, I'm finished, if you've only had it for about 10 minutes. Okay. Remember, the teachers across the school are going to look at your work. So think, how do you want them to think about your work? How do you want to feel about your work? I know if I was doing this for my teachers, I would really want to do my best to make myself proud, but also make the teachers of the school proud. I want them to look at your work and go, wow, isn't this an amazing piece of work? Okay, so do your best. Take your time, concentrate. I'm gonna give you 40 minutes to do this task. And once you finish this task, you can then go up to the computing room with Mrs. Porter and you've got computing for the rest of the morning and then you've got forest school this afternoon. You've got lots of lovely things to look forward to. So put your best effort in today, everybody. I wish you all the best of luck. I look forward to seeing what you come up with as well. Okay, take care. See you all later.